Hey lovely people, welcome back to the lovely place. So, got a treat for ourselves today and hopefully for you too. Uh, we've got something that we see on a lot of really great uh, channels. And uh, since this is the lovely place, we wanted to get you some lovely footage from above. And so, we've got our very own drone for the lovely place. And so I'm going to show today its first flight. Let's hope it flies. And uh, I've read the manual a little bit, the quick start. Mrs. Lovely's here. She's going to kind of help me get through this quick start manual and get this thing up off the ground. Um, I'm going to send you to the unboxing of it. So where I needed to charge the batteries before we could get here and do this. So check that out now and come right back. All right. This is gonna be my unboxing spot, I guess, from now on. Since I don't have an unboxing spot at the lovely place, you're gonna see this thing fly in a minute. We're gonna get it charged, so when we take it down there, you'll be ready to go. Beautiful. like the battery there's two batteries in here maybe one's already in it Extra blades. Charging cords. More charging cords. All right, I'm gonna read up on it, see how to charge this thing. Okay, what we have is the Ruko drone. It is the F11 GIM2. And here's our quick start guide. Let's see if we can make that happen. So we've got the quick guide and safety disclaimer. My disclaimer is that this is not a training video. I'm trying to learn this myself and you can come along and see if we're successful or if we crash and burn. Thank you. 
Okay, here we are at the fun part. This is where we have to turn it on. I don't know if I'm ready for this, but uh, what we're supposed to do is press over here and hold this, this power button down uh, until we hear the play, the aircraft plays uh, some startup sounds right there. And then we've got to turn on this device, which would be the power button. It says press once and then press again to turn on the transmitter. And we're gonna be connecting the mobile device to the aircraft's Wi-Fi and we have to enter the app after that point and to get into the operation page. So let's get that part going. All right, first things first, let's play some sound, shall we? Let's see, so press and hold the button until the aircraft plays startup sound. All right, now it wants me to turn on this power and it says to press once and then press again to turn on the transmitter. Power on, connecting. And it looks like the GPS is on. And I'm not touching anything just yet. It says the drone and transmitter linking takes around 40 seconds. GPS mode. So that's successful. And we've got full battery. That's the right side little bar right here. That's the battery of the actual aircraft, the drone itself. So now, let me get this phone unlocked. And I'm supposed to go into, let me do these settings. I'm supposed to turn on my Wi-Fi. And I am, if you notice here, I've got Ruko GIM2. And I'm trying now to connect to the Wi-Fi right here and it says no internet connection I guess we don't need internet it looks like it is check marked and we're connected to the Wi-Fi um, I know there's a way to tell I believe this will tell us that we're connected to the Wi-Fi it's got a good signal there it seems to be Okay, so it's want us to watch a video. Choose an area free of magnetic fields or radio interference. Flight environment, suitable flight area. So we're gonna be, when we get going, this is going to uh, default into beginner's mode. And that's where we're going to stay at today. We're going to stay in beginner's mode. I've just gotta recall exactly what these two switches do. And this is a return to home button right here. And that will get it to automatically come back to this piece of plywood, hopefully, or close to it, and uh, come back home. I've also got to remember to record. And this is the record function right here. So let's see if we can get past this. I guess I can X that. Unfold the front, unfold the rear, remove the gimbal cover, long press the power. We've done that next. Unfold the phone holder, done it. Unfold the handle, click twice, turn on the transmitter. It takes 40 seconds. Next. Enter the Wi Fi. We've done all that. Open the operations interface. Rotate the drone horizontally one to two circles. And then rotate the drone vertically one to two circles. So we're going to do that first, okay? So check this out. So first, we want to rotate it horizontally. One, two, and it beeped. Now we're going to turn it up and we're going to rotate it again. And it beeped. So we're gonna set it back down. Now, when you set it down, push the left and right joystick to the 11 and one o'clock position for the gyroscope. So let's just take a look at this. Calibrate gyroscope. I'm gonna get off of this because it needs to be on a good level of surface at this point. And so I'm gonna get it back in the middle here a little bit and uh, so we're gonna take these joysticks and move them up to the 11 and 1 o'clock position for about two seconds here we go 
heard a beep, so I let go of it. Check the GPS signal, set the flight parameters. Push the left and right joystick to the 5 and 7 o'clock position to start the motor and push again to turn them off. So let's try that. So we're going to 5 and 7 o'clock. I can push this joystick again to turn them off. So let's do that. Okay, I just shut it off. Let's get over here where I shut it off. Over everything. Okay. Let's just see what else I need to do. So that's calibrated, I'm assuming. Uh, it's doing a self inspection. Search the GPS automatically. GPS search successfully. The searching time depends on the flight environment. It says GPS. I'm not sure what the beeping is. When I turned it on earlier, I turned it back off uh, to test that I could turn it off, and it actually shut the drone off completely, and therefore the Wi Fi went out. So we're going to crank it up and see if we can get this thing off the ground. All right. So we got a five and seven o'clock position. Now let's back up and I'm going to take it up in the air. Here we go. So I realized late in the flight that I never pulled out my two antennas that are on the uh, remote control and so um, I noticed that it was kind of it felt like it got so far away from me and it did not want to react and that was why because once I got those pulled out I was able to push this thing as far as I needed to if you're wondering like I was wondering what this uh, these little lines going across the screen are when I'm going near the Sun at a certain angle the shadows from those blades are getting in the screen and it creates those lines that go across there so that's all that is but at first I'm like what's going on with this camera it was nothing since it's a Wi-Fi connected device this particular drone allows you to go up pretty comfortably from what I've seen now I've not went this far myself yet but watching plenty of videos a mile and a half up to two miles I think it's rated for three kilometers and so um, yeah it, it it allows and many drones don't go even half that far so I, I liked the idea that's one of the reasons I jumped on this one is because I knew that I could go from one to the end of my property to the other end when I get comfortable enough to do that and get you guys footage of everything so yeah it, it'll go a long distance and for some reason when it started the first time uh, on the very first flight it did not start off in beginners mode and so I was just going and going uh, and uh, I'm not sure what happened but I, I did find out how you can take the beginners mode off and how you can keep it on and so on so uh, yeah I, this thing I, I love it I really do it's you know there's a lot of good things that come with having a lot of acres um, there's a lot of work we all know that but being able to come out here and uh, play entertain yourself that's that's one of the big ones right there uh, have some fun and uh, this drone is really cool I mean it's it's really really neat I hope you guys enjoy the footage that you're gonna see and uh, kind of get a feel for what we saw in this place when we found it and, and when we purchased it we love it it is the lovely place it's got some beautiful scenery some beautiful trees of course this is in the cold of winter uh, it is right now in late December and so you're seeing not a leaf on the tree but there's a lot of evergreens that are sticking up in the woods as, as I go over there I notice these uh, sorry about the Sun uh, occasionally I'm turning the camera toward that Sun and it's setting uh, this time of year at just 3 30 in the afternoon that Sun is way over there it's low and I got a lot of glare but 
I just really was hoping to try this camera out and uh, see you know how it did uh, I felt like it was steady even in the wind I felt like we got some really good footage now if you see it jerk side to side occasionally that's me uh, I've just got to get used to the uh, the stick the joystick you barely barely need to move it at all if you're going side to side um, or d just different motions it's just a matter of finessing that joystick and knowing what you're doing with it but you know for my very first drone and first time flying uh yeah i made a couple mistakes but all in all i think it was pretty successful and i believe uh we got some really good footage and more importantly we're going to have this drone hopefully for years to come that we can get some beautiful footage uh that we've not been been able to get so far uh, as this channel has been growing you know one of the things that this thing does that i haven't done yet that i'm really excited about trying especially when we get out on the tractor it has a follow me mode it's got a regular follow me where you can actually draw a little square box around yourself or any object that you want to follow and it will follow left to right but i i have noticed on videos when i've watched it doesn't follow you if you walk away or go under it coming back toward it but it will go left to right now there is a gps follow mode that one is superior that's what i think i envision that i'll be using when we get in the tractor and uh, we're just going to put the drone up in the air put it on gps follow and what it does is it finds the device that you're connected to and it follows that device so if the device is just sitting in the seat of the tractor then it's going to be able to follow me all over the field while i'm cutting i just need to make sure my altitude is high enough so that if i get near the tree line that it doesn't uh hit a tree limb that's sticking out or anything like that uh when you do a sharp turn like i was doing here you can see the blades from the drone up in the upper corner of the video I hit the return to home button and it came all because it kind of when it got over there I didn't feel like it was doing it wasn't responding to my controls I hit return to home and here it is I hit it again and it just stopped steady but let's touch down let's go ahead go ahead and get on it here look at that that is absolutely perfect I'm freaking excited guys that is awesome and we are going to get some awesome footage for you guys we'll play what we've got we'll play with this thing a little bit more by the way one battery lasts 28 minutes this drone comes with two batteries so you've got almost an hour of flight time between the two batteries Now you see it. Now you see the mountain peak that I've been talking about all this time. That, my friends, will be the view from the house when we're able to build a house up here. It's also got where you can actually raise it above any object 
like yourself or your dog or your tractor, or whatever it is you want to raise it above. And then you, I think, take it out as far away from that object as you want to. And then you hit the button again and it will start rotating around that object. It will hover around it at that distance and at that altitude and it'll keep you or the object that you've designated in the center of the, the view. And so that's gonna be cool. That'll come in handy as well. But yeah, I, I love the drone. I, I love the lovely place. And we're just excited to share this with you. Uh, you know, funny thing is, as I got it up there, and of course you can see on your phone that you've got mounted in into the uh, remote control that's in your hands, you can see the video that it's taking at the time. And I think if you're not videoing, I was videoing the whole time pretty much uh, on and off, uh, but I didn't pay attention when I didn't hit video. But I believe even when you're not videoing, you can see where it's going and the direction it's at. But it, it kind of reminded me of all of the work that we have to do here. This place is still so undone. Oh my goodness, we have been here now almost two years. And of course we don't live here yet. We are just trying to develop this homestead so that we will have a place that we can come and we can be self-sufficient and uh, we can grow our own food. We can have animals. I've been watching all kinds of videos trying to determine, okay, what are going to be the animals that we're going to settle on first, second, and will we get three types of animals? I don't know. Uh, and then we know where our garden spot's going to be, but you know, we're going off grid. So we've got our water tanks. We've got to get them plumbed in. The wood stove is going in next. We've got the propane lines coming in that we're going to be doing. Um, we're going to be setting up solar panels, and that's going to be out in the field. So all of this is going to be able to be captured on video for you guys to see what we're doing. And hopefully you'll be cheering us on as we try to make this homestead the lovely place. Thanks so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Have a wonderful and Merry Christmas.